Alright guys, even here with another video and in this video I wanted to discuss whether should have Rolly been better than Phil as far as placing at the last year Mr. Olympia. Many people talk about this and there is a lot of discussion so I noticed that and I wanted to give you my take on it. And to be quite honest, before I started this video I was thinking no way Rolly could have been better than Phil. I would say just Phil is better and let's see why. But then when I started looking at the photos I was actually not so sure. And right now, I am not absolutely certain, but I think I have an idea. And I'm not gonna tell you what is my opinion until the end of the video. So stick to it, let's watch it, and let's begin with this first pose here. So obviously just a quarter turn, quarter turn to the right, and uh, here you can see, let's go bottom up, let's start with legs first. Let's go with quads, feel squats are looking much more prominent, they're looking so bulgy. But I think that's just about the angle of this picture, of this photo, sorry. Uh, but you know, they are close, they are close as far as quads. In this photo, I don't know why, but Phil is showing better quads. As far as glutes, they are close. As far as hamstrings, you can see bigger hamstrings on, on Rolly, but maybe that's about the angle. And I would just say overall legs are very close. Uh, and as far as upper body, I would also say it's very, very close. Um, Phil is managing to hold his belly properly. Which is surprising for him in this pose. I, you would you would think that he would you know let it pop, but he's not doing it. He's hiding it properly, and he's showing more detail than in Rolly. As far as arms, they're very very close. Both have one of the best arms in the history of bodybuilding. Chest, Phil's chest is a bit thicker, but it's not that much thicker. So I would give it a tie in this pose because they're very very close. And here we go with the next quarter turn. We have a back relaxed pose, and surprisingly, Rolly is holding his own. He he's actually looking pretty good. Although his hamstrings are nowhere near as developed as Phil's, his lower lats are not that well developed as well, neither they are shredded as Phil's. Also, uh, traps are pretty close, but Phil's are showing more depth, more striations, and for that reason I give this pose to Phil, definitely. The only thing that I would say is close here is Rolly's upper back. She shows a lot of mass and a lot of details in that area. Maybe Rolly is even showing more detail. But as far as lower back, Phil is destroying it. And as far as hamstrings and also glutes, Phil is showing much more detail, much more sharper, crispier look. Which is something I admire a lot. But it's not that bad, it's pretty close. Although Phil wins it. So we get to another quarter turn to the right, and nothing new here to see. It's the same pose as before, on a different side of their bodies. But you can go either way here, very, very close, and uh, I like them both in this pose very, very much. So let's not waste any more time and let's go with the next pose, which is going to be side triceps pose. And here you may see that this is also very close. You could go either way. I would say that Rolly's legs are looking a bit thicker in this pose. Uh, maybe hamstrings are looking more prominent as well. As far as arms, very, very close. Maybe Phil's triceps are showing more separation as well as biceps. He's actually able to show triceps. And as far as stomach, they're both pretty good at that, so I wouldn't go either way, I would just say it's tight. And then let's proceed to the next pose, and it's just a transition of a pose, it's not really a real pose. Just a moment before they hit back double bicep, and here we don't really have to discuss it because it doesn't matter, it's not a real pose. But Phil is showing more detail all over the back, the hamstrings, the glutes and everything. And now we come to the back double bicep. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best poses of Phil Heath, probably the best one, maybe most muscular, but this is probably his best pose, and one of the worst, if not the worst, I would say absolutely the worst pose of Rolly, because of the lower back, his lower back looks like there is no muscle there, I mean, you can't see any muscle, you can't see anything, I mean, his lats are inserted very high, and below that point, uh, but he'll glutes, nothing, nothing, just emptiness. On the other hand, Phil is showing great development, great conditioning, a completeness, just insane. He absolutely destroys him in this one, he annihilates him. And for that he gets a lot of points. But then we come to the transition before they hit the back lat spread. And I mean, you know, back is the most important body part when it comes to bodybuilding. Back double bicep and front double bicep also are one of the most important poses, probably the most important poses. Uh, Phil is basically leading right now because of that pose. But in this uh, transition now, before they hit back lat spread, you can see that Rolly improved his lats a lot. I mean, if you look at the photos like three or four years ago, he was completely shallow from the back. Now he's looking much, much better. And I would still not give it to him. From the back, pretty much all the poses are filled. And Rolly is much better than he is in the back lat spread, but still not good enough. 
he is maybe wider, but he doesn't have that detail in the lats. His lats are very high inserted, they're not as slow as Phil's. His straps are not showing that thickness. His glutes are not even nearly as shredded. And one of the most important features that Phil after his back and after his arms and also his very thick chest would be his hamstrings. And that's very important body part. So I would say his hamstrings are probably the best hamstrings in the history of bodybuilding. For that reason, I give this pose to Phil, not by too far, but yeah, he, he's killing it for sure. Most muscular pose is one of the Phil's best poses, his signature pose basically. But back in the 2011, 12, 13, after that, sure, he was very, very good at it in all those years up until 2018 because his stomach in this year was a complete disaster because look at it here look at it here it just throws off the balance of his body so so much that his arms and his chest and his legs don't even matter don't even matter and roll is most muscular is also one of his best poses with his super huge arms probably bigger than phil's he does this pose so well but it doesn't really matter all that matters is Phil's stomach, and he's just hurting him so much, so I give this pose to Rowley. And then we come to the front double bicep, second most important pose in bodybuilding, as I already said, probably too many times. <laughs> and here, uh, it's light and day. Do I have to go over this? We can just go with the next pose. This is so apparent that Rowley wins it, uh, because of his, simply this stomach. This stomach, I mean, Phil doesn't just have bloated stomach. It's not just bubble gut, however you want to call it. I don't like that word, but it's still, you can call it whatever the tell you want, and uh, I wouldn't say that uh, Phil's stomach is just big, it's also disgusting. It has horrible shape, and it has this belly button that just looks like, I don't know, I want to puke when I see this. It's just horrible, horrible. And on the other hand, the Rolly is wider, he has better weight taper, his stomach is beautiful, it's so aesthetic stomach. I mean, girls will like this, girls would be amazed by it, I'm telling you, it just looks incredible, very beautiful, and all this pose, one of his best poses ever, so Rolly wins it, Rolly wins it. And now we get to side chest pose, and in this pose you can go pretty much either way, they're very close, but what I notice is that uh, Rolly is looking much wider, is it because of the way he hits the pose, is it because of the sheer width that he has, is it maybe uh, just the angle, I don't know, but it just looks like that, and Phil's chest is thicker, his upper chest shelf is just amazing, you can put a coffee cup on it and it will just stand right there. It won't spill, I'm sure. Uh, as far as glutes, I, you can see that the Rolly's glutes are a bit blurry compared to Phil's, which are completely dry. And the Rolly's hamstrings and basically quads are looking much fuller. Not much fuller, but fuller though. This pose is called side chest pose, but some people call it chest and bicep, because obviously you're flexing your bicep in this pose. And uh, here you can see that they're very close, so I wouldn't give it neither to Phil or to Rolly. I mean, they, they both have great arms. So overall flow, it, I will. I just when I look at these two physiques, Rollies is the one that draws my eyes a little bit more. And also Phil's stomach is visible at this pose though. He's hiding it in his arms, but it, it just looks too bloated, too big. For that reason, I give this pose to Rollie. But it was pretty close though. And now we get to the front lat spread. In my opinion, third most important pose. And here. It is just so obvious that Rolly is winning, by far. First of all, just the first thing that you notice in this pose. I mean, yeah, it's a lat spread. You should spread your lats. Rolly is kind of hiding his lats because he's pushing his arms forward, but that's how he likes to do it. That's how his body looks the best, so I don't care. The pose is called lat spread, but it's not all about lats. Also, I mean, arms are equal, shoulders pretty much equal. The legs, though, the legs are better on, on field. They're more detailed, they have more vascularity and more dryness, especially in the inner part, and just more details overall. But if you look at the stomach, if you look at the stomach, it's just so clear. You cannot dismiss his stomach. Just like in the previous video about Dorian versus Nasser, I said you couldn't dismiss Dorian's back. And for that reason, Dorian won, because his back was just too overwhelming. In this case, it's the same, but kind of opposite. His stomach is too overwhelming, and it cannot be ignored. You must red card this. This deserves to be punished. You must knock him for this. And he was knocked, he lost his title, but they gave him second place. It was just 
you know, I mean, they didn't do that with Jeremy Buendia in men's physique, you know, they gave him fourth place, even though he maybe deserved even less than fourth place, but still, uh, in this case, like, you can see, the role is looking like a winner here, let's be honest, who looks like a winner here, who looks more, first of all, you can see, see the confidence on, on their faces, it's just obvious, I mean, their facial expressions are, are telling it. And yeah, just this stomach, it's the core, you know, it's the middle of their, their bodies. If you look at their bodies, you must look at the stomach. It's not like cows that you can say, okay, that's a little, a little side, a little muscle, who cares about it? Or forearms, you know. It's huge. <laughs> stomach is covering, basically, it's like the, the third of their bodies. And in this photo here, I mean, in this comparison as well, like, uh, Phil's stomach looks like an old grandma. And Roll is just looking proper, just aesthetic. This is like a fitness model with much more muscle, but yeah, in this pose, he, he's just nailing him. The only reason why would Phil may even be in, in, in a question is because of his uh, quads, you know, the definition through his quads. But look at everything, I mean, from the, the waist up. It's just pfft, a disaster, a disaster. And for that reason, I would give it to Rolly. And basically, like I said, like I said, such a big factor as your stomach cannot be ignored. And for that reason, I give this victory to Rolly. I think the Rolly deserved to be second place. He did not deserve to win. He wasn't better than Sean. But I think that he, yeah, he deserved to be second place at this year's Mr. Olympia. Although third place was still great success for him. And I'm sure he's going to improve, especially this year. He's going to see probably some... Maybe he's going to win it this year. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But in this comparison that I just showed you, I think that uh, Rolly was better. And tell me what you guys think about it. Do you agree with me or disagree? And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. And if you want to see more, I'm posting videos on a daily. That's a promise. Subscribe to my channel. All the best, people. Bye-bye.